Here in Carson City, just wrapped up over public support for the Oakland A's move to Las Vegas. A piece of legislation introduced Friday calls for a $380 million commitment from the state to help build the stadium. Uh, most of the financing would come from $180 million in transferable tax credits. Another $120 million will come from county bonds, with Clark County picking up the tab for $25 million in infrastructure costs. That leaves the A's organization responsible for about $1.6 billion. The bill must be passed by next Monday. Fox 5's Mike Allen is live at one of the proposed sites for the new stadium, the Tropicana. Mike, long meeting tonight. How did it go? Definitely a long meeting tonight. And on the topic of the site, by the way, the bill is site agnostic, which means it doesn't specify a particular place the stadium would be built. But during the entire six hour meeting, lawmakers did continually refer to this site at the Tropicana as the one where the stadium would be built. So while there was general agreement on that, still plenty of questions tonight, particularly about whether or not it's a good idea to spend all this money or at least put it up for financing for a big stadium like this. It contains no new taxes imposed against the residents of Nevada or our guests. Stadium construction costs would also include the owners putting in, um, the owners of the athletics investing more private capital than anyone has ever put into a baseball stadium in this country. Governor Joe Lombardo's chief of staff starting out Monday's hearing by trying to quell concerns about the public cost of a new stadium in Las Vegas. Financial analyst Jeremy Aguero answering some tough questions from state lawmakers about the economic viability of the stadium plan at one point making a connection to other big projects the state has taken on. We've made bets and we've won a lot uh, relative to that. And I would suggest that element that has made us successful in so many of those others has a, a large, a very substantial potential to do the same thing here. In regard to making the money work, Senator Dina Neal asks, why can we finance a stadium but cannot put money toward a 20 percent increase in teacher pay? For regular citizens, they don't, they're not looking at economic uh, numbers. They're looking at real life, and they're saying these two things are not congruent. Aguero says the money does bear out in the end after the initial investment. When we run the numbers out relative to the stadium, the state of Nevada, local governments and state governments combined are over $360 million to the good. Those are dollars that will go to our schools and to our roads and to our parks and to public safety. Aguero emphasizing several times Monday night. Clark County is going to make money on this deal, not lose money on this deal. But with one key contingency. If the A's are able to do what they expect to be able to do, um, the Clark County as well as the state will be in a net positive fiscal position. Of course, that is the multi-million dollar question, especially since the A's are only drawing 8,000 people a game up in Oakland, well short of the 30,000 they're hoping to attract each game in Vegas. Some important context for that number, though, the team has always had attendance problems in Oakland, which many attribute to their lackluster stadium. The franchise has been bottom five in attendance in 15 of the 19 years that Steve Fisher has been the owner. Also answering questions tonight, LVCVA President Steve Hill, when asked about whether the A's would consider another city if this bill did not go through, he answered yes. And as far as that bill goes, June 5th is the deadline. That's when this session ends. That's just a week from today. Reporting live from the Trop tonight, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.